Hi, and welcome back to Quick Toots. On today's Quick Toot, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do copper leafing. Uh, leafing, or gilding, when it's actual gold, is the process where you take an adhesive and then a thin layer of your metal and apply it to your surface. Most of the time, how people traditionally do metal leafing is they do like a nice smooth surface. I'm doing it for costuming, so it's not gonna come out as perfectly shiny as, as though it were like 100% real, but I want that, I want that look. The copper leaf that you can buy in the craft stores is 100% copper, which is very cool because the gold leaf that you can buy in the craft store is actually a copper and zinc alloy that is made to look like gold, which there's nothing wrong with it. You can use it and it's pretty awesome. They also have a silver that is also probably zinc or nickel. It's, it's not actually silver. Now you can buy 100% gold leaf, but you have to definitely order that online. And, uh, and I wouldn't use it for a craft project because that's far more expensive than you need to spend, or I, even me and I spend a lot of money on my projects. So the first thing that you do is you get your adhesive, which I just bought this and it's halfway gone, and you apply it with a brush to the thing that you want to turn into your copper. You leave it, you put it on, and then you let it dry for about 20, 20 minutes, and then it gets sticky. It's sort of like eyelash glue, really. It's the same sort of concept. I'm just gonna do one side here, because I'm afraid I'm gonna run out of glue. I painted my surface black, because if anything shows through, I want it to show through black, so that it has more depth. So I have my entire side coated with glue. I'm going to let this sit for about 20 minutes and then we'll come back and actually start it, um, putting on the copper leafing. Alright, so my glue is dry but, but still a little tacky and so I'm taking my copper leaf sheet and I'm just going to press it on top here with the back of the, well, this part of the brush. Press it on and I'll move it around a little bit because it's a weird shape. It's not the sort of thing that one would normally copper leaf, but I'm weird. Ooh, starting to look pretty cool. So I'll keep going. So it's really starting to come together, but you see that this copper, this shine, is not something that you can get with regular paints or even rub and buff. This is the real thing and that's why I love it so much. So I'll just keep going on until I've got it mostly covered. If I have some little bits showing that are showing black, that just adds some texture to it. But I'm really liking how this look is coming. I'm probably going to have to go back in and do another layer of glue because it's not sticking very well. This is a piece that I made earlier and I've already copper leafed it. I'm going to be gluing it in place up here. Oh, that was the hot end of the glue stick. Put generous amounts of hot glue. I wanted to put this on before I'm completely done with the copper leafing because I'm going to fill in my gap with the hot glue and then I'm going to copper leaf over the whole thing because I'm sneaky that way. Not well, I'm going to try to. I think that's going to stay. Welcome back to Quick Toots. 
What's been only a few seconds for you has been about a week and a half for me because I ran out of the, the glue. I tried Elmer's glue, that was a fail. So I had to get online and order some more of the leafing glue. And it took forever, it felt like, to actually get back to me. And the bottle is a lot smaller than I expected. I thought it was gonna be, from the picture, I thought it was gonna be like this big, and it's like, like this big. But it's enough for me to get going on with. So I'm continuing to add glue to my project. And once the glue sits for about 10 or 15 minutes, then I will put more copper leaf on and I will continue this process until I have as much leaf on it as I think I want. In retrospect, <laughs> in retrospect, I think that it would have been even cooler if I had thought to, instead of painting the base of it black, if I had painted the base of it that uh, green color, the, the verdigris. So, because I think verdigris would have looked so much nicer coming through than black because it would have just looked like copper that, that was aging. Hindsight's 2020. Learn from my wisdom and experience and try it and send me pictures because I want to see what it will look like. So I'm just going to keep on doing this and then I'm going to add more copper to it. I'm having a lot of trouble getting behind the ear. So when you get your copper on here, but it's not really on, then you go back in with the brush and lightly brush it down so that it sticks and gets smooth. And the leafing multiple times on this piece, which is not normally what you have to do, but because this is such a bumpy surface and the glue doesn't really like to stick to it. So I was having a lot of trouble getting the copper to stick to the hot glue that's holding on this piece. So I decided I should just suck it up and paint it, but I didn't have any copper colored paint. So I took this gold paint with a drop of, oops, that was more than a drop, with a drop of the uh, red paint and voila, copper. So this is a shade darker, what I mixed up, than the actual copper, but I kind of like that because I can now also use that to go in and highlight and low light bits. What I do is I'm going to go into all of my crevices and put the copper paint in the crevices so that it gives it a really nice three-dimensional finish when I'm done, and I'm really liking how it's coming out. And it's also helping to sort of fill in the gaps where my copper just was giving me trouble. 